today on Live with Lori. Lori prepares filet mignon with roasted garlic mashed potatoes and talks with State Representative Mike LaRosa. Coming up now on Live with Lori. Welcome to Live with Lori, where we always serve up political food for thought. Today our guest is a man who was destined to be in politics. He won his election without even being on the ballot. Please help me welcome Representative Mike LaRosa. Hi Mike. How are you doing? Thank you for having me on. Oh, it's great to see you. I mean, I, we're, congratulations. That, that's quite a feat. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Welcome to our show. Today we're going to cook uh, filet with a red wine reduction. Mm -hmm. Roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Sounds good. And we're, if we have time, we're going to do a wedge too. But the way this works is I'm just going to ask you some questions, mm -hmm. and they're easy questions. And since you're going to, since you're so brand new, <laughs> uh, this should be fun. Excellent, excellent. Um, Certainly look forward to it. First thing I'd like to ask you about is obviously your your parents are from Cuba. Mm -hmm. So what was that like growing up as a uh, Cuban American? My, my mother was born uh, was born in Cuba. She came mm -hmm. from from Cuba to um, uh, to the U.S. Uh, at a young age, about about six years old. Right. Um, was very uh, very unique. I was I was surrounded by um, you know my, my Cuban family and grew up um, you know with the Cuban heritage around me. And uh, uh, you know what it really, um, I guess you know, you know, provided me was the ability to fight for freedom, and and, and hearing what my grandfather and my you know, my other relatives had to fight through. You uh, kind of get a good me. perspective on that Certainly. when you when you have relatives that have lived through you know something as totalitarian as as Castro. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. uh, pretty amazing. Yes. Well, yes. you married your high school sweetheart. I did. I did. And you have three children. We do three beautiful at, boys. At, at how old are they? Uh, we have twin boys who are uh, four years old. Twins. Um, yes, yes, very exciting. Uh, and then my youngest is, is two. Um, so we have a very interactive and loud household. So you have a household. very loud household. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, what I did while you were talking is I put in four tablespoons of butter. And we're going to cut this shallot up. Okay. Do you know, um, you know what this is? Um, it's an onion. It's a shallot. Oh, it's a shallot. It's a shallot. Oh, it's kind of like an onion. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the potatoes. Now, I've cubed up and cut uh, about three pounds of potatoes. Okay. This is going to be for the mashed potatoes, and I'm just going to turn them on, and we're going to let those boil, and we'll mash those up later. Excellent. Um, I'll tell you what. If, if you cut up that shallot, sure. I'm going to cut up this for the roasted garlic. Okay. And while we're doing that, I'm going to ask you about... Um, how you think that you know your life is going to be affected by going back and forth to Tallahassee? I mean, that's that's going to be a big change. Uh, certainly, certainly, and uh, it's something, of course, that I thought about prior to um, um, to getting in. And uh, without my wife's support, I, I certainly wouldn't wouldn't be here today. And, and it's something that, that we know as a as a as a household, um, we're going to have to work through. Um, right. But we're we're a very strong, close knit family, and uh, I think we'll uh, we'll be able to uh, to work through it just fine. Yeah, it's it's going to be a big change, and you know I got it. I I can't even imagine how excited you were election night mm -hmm. that um, your name wasn't even on the ballot, right? And yet you won. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you about that. What you know? What is the process for when you? You're not on the ballot. I mean, sure. obviously somebody picked you, or, or sure. did you just stand up and say, "Hey, me, me, me! I want to be me," and they well, said, "Oh, okay." Well, I, I, I mean, certainly, how, how does that work? I, I certainly, um, um, you know, pushed a little, you know, forward. I, uh, of course, was not in politics prior, right? Um, so my name did not come up. I had to go out there and, and, and certainly spark the interest. But but the unique thing in our race was we were running almost two races at one time. It was getting the name out of who Mike LaRosa is, what he's about, and why you should vote for him. And then ultimately, how do you vote for him? Because it's not voting for me, it was voting for somebody else whose name was on the ballot. But what was the process that you were allowed to, to get on the ballot? I mean, who, who, who actually um, voted on it sure, or picked sure. you? Or um, Our district, District 42, lies both in Polk and Osceola County. Okay. So we had the executive committee from both parties oh, um, so meet together. Oh, so you had to have a lot of people vote. Oh, on sure, it. So they sure. must have really liked it you. Was, it was seven people total. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we came in, of course, uh, for shortlisted interviews. Right. Uh, I believe there was five of us total. And uh, on the committees, you know, met together, interviewed us each individually. And then, uh, you know, made their announcement, made their choice well, uh, shortly thereafter. Yeah, obviously, everybody's happy with their pick because mm -hmm. you won. Yes, we pulled it off. Um, what I did was I t cut the top off the garlic here and I put some salt on it. And I'm going to fold this into a little packet. And we're going to put it in the oven at 425 degrees for, oh, about 50 minutes. 
Usually when you do these, you could do several because this goes really quick. Um, so let me stick this in the oven. If you can just mince that up, sure. we're gonna throw that in the butter, okay? Sure, excellent. Um, and so while you're doing that, let me ask you, um, what did you run on? I mean, what, what, is, what is your platform? What, you, you know, what, be, being a small um, business owner, um, it, it's all about jobs. I, I, I want to bring my small business experience um, and some of the, tri the trials and tribulations we've been through and how we got through them and bring that to Tallahassee. Right. Um, so it, it's all, it was all about jobs, all about job creation, and, and more importantly, how to create opportunities. I mean, obviously, you're a businessman. Sure. Do you think that that's going to um, translate as far as, um, you know, working with the other representatives and, um, you know, obviously, you have to work with the lobbyists. And sure and uh, all of that so i mean are you prepared for that I, I, absolutely in business um you have to work with others to get other things done specifically in the real estate business um right you know at the end of the day i i look at a, at a real estate transaction as you got two people that want to get something done um they both have a certain interest in the transaction and uh, you got to both bring them to get you know together to you know at the table and uh, that that means reaching out and maybe um um you know you know changing uh, certain things around that you're trying to get out of a transaction or, 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 or vice versa. So it's a little bit of a give and take, and I it's, think I can bring that knowledge and experience. Absolutely. About, well, are, are you, I mean, because right, you know, right now there's a whole big push for, you know, reaching across the aisle right. kind of thing. Right. Do you, do you, I mean, are you, are you for that? I mean, is that uh, something I'm, I'm that prepared for it um, as, as we need to. Um, if I've got to reach across and, 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 and talk with uh, the other parties and, and bring them together, uh, I'm ready to do that. I, I feel that I'd be the person to be able to sit down and um, uh, discuss with them and, and, and come to that solution that uh, whatever it is that we, we may be negotiating so you're, or talking about. you're willing about. to work with the Democrats? Uh, um, absolutely. Well, I think that's great. We know Mike LaRosa can sell houses, but let's see if he can sell the house on his ideas. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. It smells pretty good. Yeah, really. yeah. When we come back, Lori seasons the fillets while Representative LaRosa explains how being a seasoned business owner will help him in the house. 